the best mods for Minecraft in 2023. Now, at the time I'm recording this, these are also all working for the most recent version of Minecraft, but we do these videos for every new version that comes out. So if you want, subscribe, because when a new version of Minecraft comes out, we'll do a new video, and you'll get new mods that are compatible with the new version. First on the list, though, is one that we kind of have to mention. It's more of a utility mod, but the benefit of it is that it works with every single other Minecraft mod to show you what items are in that Minecraft mod and how to craft them. Of course, we're talking about just enough items. Items. Just Enough Items is a utility mod that when you hit your inventory key, right, you open up your inventory, on the right hand side you can search for items. You can then click on an item, see what the crafting recipe is, and with a click of a button, add those items into the crafting table, meaning you don't even have to select them from your inventory into the crafting table. It's all automatic. Truthfully, Just Enough Items is the number one utility mod out there and one that everyone should have, especially if you're playing with mods and you don't want to have to constantly look up different crafting recipes and find random YouTube tutorials on how to use the mod. So Just Enough Items is 100% a mod that you must have. Another mod that, in my opinion, you must have is Journey Map, and Journey Map is the best Minecraft map mod. Not only does it add in a mini map that allows you to easily see what's around you, but it also adds in a full screen map that lets you see your entire world in a top-down view. Have you ever wondered what this entire massive base you've built out looks like from a top-down sort of map view? Well, that's what Journey Map can do. You can even print out images from that and all sorts of amazing things, and truthfully, I wouldn't play mod in Minecraft without just enough items and Journey Map. The other mods on this list are, you know, if you want that kind of a feature, you can use them, but these two are must-haves in my opinion. On top of that, Journey Map also has waypoints, which can be super helpful on finding your way back to where you've been before, especially if you're like me and get lost a lot. Like, where spawn? I don't know, but I can set a waypoint in Journey Map and always get back there. After that, though, what if you're kind of fed up with just having three dimensions, the end, the nether, and the overworld to explore in Minecraft. Well, luckily, there's a mod called Blue Skies that adds in entirely new dimensions for you to explore. Specifically, the Blue Sky mod adds in two new dimensions, Ever Bright and Ever Dawn. These dimensions have tons of unique blocks, features, mobs, and dungeons, and add in so many things. Even if you're like a builder and you want additional blocks to use to build, Blue Skies is a mod that adds in so many blocks that it actually can really transform your builds with that alone. However, some people enjoy tech mods. I'm one of those people, actually. I love technology mods, mechanism-style mods, that sort of thing, and that's where Applied Energistics, also known as AE2, comes in. This is, in my opinion, one of the best tech mods in Minecraft, allowing for automation of so many things. You can set up auto crafters to craft bulk items, and it has a hard drive-style storage system that can be accessed via let's call it a computer terminal, to store all of your items. Imagine not having to have a storage room, but instead having a hard drive room and then being able to run a computer terminal to that hard drive from anywhere in your base. It's kind of complicated when I say it like that, or it sounds more complicated, but it is super easy once you get in-game, and you can create massive storage systems holding millions of blocks with Applied Energistics 2, not to mention all the other automation and things that you can do with the mod. It's truly amazing. Just like our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want to start your own modded Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Apex is the best Minecraft hosting company out there, allowing for one-click installation of tons of mod packs, and you can easily add in your own custom mods, not custom mods, but your own mods to your server. Meaning those are ones, sure, you've developed yourself, but also mods from this list. Let's say you wanted to add all the mods from this list onto an Apex server and play them with your friends, you could do that. We love to say Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting, and if you want to start a server, you should do the same. Check out Apex at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Next up, we have a furniture mod, specifically the Adorn Furniture mod, and if you're tired of using stairs for couches and slabs for tables in Minecraft, Adorn is the mod for you. It adds in realistic furniture to Minecraft that you can use, such as chairs, sofas, tables, shelves, drawers, chimneys, and more. There's even like outdoor items. It's, it's really, really cool. Oh, and we didn't even mention the fact that there are kitchen blocks. Yes, counters, cabinets, sinks. You can actually make a kitchen in Minecraft. Truthfully, if, if you want to furnish houses to realistic sort of standards, this is a great mod for you. Check out the Adorn Furniture mod. But what is the most boring task in Minecraft? In my opinion, it's probably fishing. 
And luckily there's a mod to fix that. Aquaculture 2 actually makes fishing fun in Minecraft. Not only does it add in over 30 new fish to catch, it also adds in additional loot that you can get while fishing and even powerful armor that you can get through fishing and craft using blocks that you get through fishing. It's really cool. And that's not even missing all the new fishing rods and tackle and things that you can use with those fishing rods like bait, tackle, hooks, line, all of that stuff can be added with Aquaculture 2 once you get it installed to your fishing rods. It's truly the best fishing mod for Minecraft, which Minecraft fishing is boring. I get it. But Aquaculture 2 really does take that up to the next level. And speaking of the next level, Seasons. Seasons isn't anything in Minecraft. And wouldn't it be cool if you could take your world to the next level by adding in Seasons? Well, that's where the Serene Seasons mod comes in. With this mod, you can actually turn Minecraft into a living, breathing world by getting real-life seasons in Minecraft. For example, you have summer, winter, fall, and spring, and depending on the season, your world will change with snow falling in biomes in the winter and rain falling in summer. Grass and plants also change color depending on the season to show that in the winter, they're dying off, in the fall, they're turning more orange, and in the summer, they are are beautiful, bright, and green. It really is a cool mod that adds more life to your world. Now earlier we mentioned that fishing was boring in Minecraft. That's true. But mining is also rather boring. I may enjoy it, but I understand most people don't. And ore excavation makes things like mining, but also harvesting plants and getting like excavation, which would be like, you know, gathering dirt and cutting down trees a lot easier. So what ore excavation does is it takes and allows with just clicking one button, holding one key on your keyboard and mining an ore, it will mine the entire vein of that ore. So that means like 10 blocks of coal mined with just one block of coal being actually mined. You can also cut down entire trees. You can harvest tons of crops all at one time. You can get tons of dirt, again, all by holding down one key and just mining one block. When that one block is mined, any similar blocks will also be mined as well, up to a certain amount that you can configure. So, really, really cool, amazing mod that makes mining a lot more enjoyable, as well as other tasks like gathering dirt, gathering wood, things like that a lot easier. Now, one of the best Minecraft mods of all time, in my opinion, is Chisel. Chisel allowed you to customize default Minecraft blocks into other blocks, changing basically the look of the block and allowing you to have more versatility when you're building. And luckily, there's a spiritual successor called Rechiseled. Rechiseled does exactly what the old chisel did. It allows you to use a chisel tool to then take default Minecraft blocks and add in different styles to them. All in all, there are over 300 different decorative variants that you can use with this mod. It's the best mod out there for builders. Imagine having 300 new blocks that you can use. Insane, right? Now go get rechiseled because that's what this mod gives you. If you're a builder, look no further. This is the best mod for building in Minecraft. And in my opinion, one of the best mods for adding more biomes to Minecraft is Oh the Biomes You'll Go. Now, there is another mod out there called Biomes of Plenty, and that's also a great mod. So really either of these would work, but we decided to go with Oh the Biomes You'll Go here just because it is very diverse in the biomes it adds. It also adds biomes to the nether and the end in addition to the overworld. And all in all, you have over 80 new biomes to explore between all three dimensions in Minecraft. It also adds in hundreds of custom blocks and plants and all that that you can again use in your builds, but also use to just spice things up a little bit. For example, adding in different plants to make your outdoor area look a bit better in your world than it would without those other bombs you'll go plants. Now there are two more mods I want to talk about here, and the first is the Lost Cities mod. This mod has you select a custom world type when you're creating your world, and when you spawn in, Everything changes. You spawn directly into a partially destroyed city that takes over the entire world. It really does feel endless. There are tunnels and bridges. There's a highway system, a subway system, and tons of buildings to explore. There's loot that can be found. And truthfully, if you want a unique Minecraft survival experience from the start, the Lost Cities mod is a great way to get it. Add in other mods from this list, like, you know, rechiseled and things like that, and it can really take things up a notch in your world overall. Having a truly in-depth city to explore when you start really, really makes things cool. Also, imagine it being like a zombie apocalypse or something. The city's abandoned. You're just alone. I, I don't know. There's so much you can do with this mod, and that's why it's included. But the last mod, but definitely not least mod on our list, is Cooking for Blockheads. And this mod revolutionizes cooking in Minecraft, and really kitchens in Minecraft in general. If you like cooking your own life, you're probably going to like this mod, because with it, you get fully functional kitchens that can be upgraded and changed over time. You also get a recipe book that will show you everything that you can cook with the items in your inventory, as well as stuff you can't quite cook yet, and you need the ingredients for. It's really, really cool, and an amazing mod if you love cooking or want to actually make cooking 
an experience in Minecraft. But nevertheless, that is our list of the best Minecraft mods of 2023. Let us know what you think in the comments. And again, subscribe if you want to get new videos whenever a new Minecraft version releases. All of these mods, by the way, are Forge mods. And if they do have any compatibility mods, things that you need to install in order to use them, those are linked in the description down below as well. Nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.